everyone, this is Ellie May with Silhouette Secrets Plus, and today I want to show you a neat little tool really quickly in the Silhouette software that can be used when you are creating your own designs. So we are going to talk today about this move tool that is found underneath the transform panel. Your transform panel is the three rectangles with the line through it on the right hand side, and your move by tool is the fourth icon at the top. So I'm gonna show you how I created the card base and this mechanism here for the score lines and had my design be the exact dimensions that I wanted. So I'm going to take this shape and I'm going to copy it to a new design mat. And then this shape is made up of two objects. I'm going to ungroup it so you can see those objects. So I have my card base which is five by five five point five inches by eight and point five inches so it's a size of a typical card base and then i have my score line and i want my score line to be in the exact center of my card base and to do that i can use the tools in the silhouette software so since i have moved this i'm going to make it a little more obvious and what i can do is i'm going to zoom in here a little bit so you can see that it's not centered. It's really not centered right now, but we're going to change that. So I'm going to left click and drag my mouse across the two objects that I want selected, holding down my left mouse button as I drag. It's going to se select my score line, which is a dashed line that I've drawn, and it selects my rectangle. I'm going to use the tools in the top quick access toolbar and I'm going to align this middle so that the score lines are aligned in the middle of that card base. So it's aligned middle here horizontally in this card base. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to align this to the left side. So I'm going to tell the software to take this score line and line it up exactly on the left edge of this card base. Now you'll see why I do that here in just a second. With this neat little tool, I'm going to select and click back on my line. And you'll notice the first time I clicked on it, it selected my blue rectangle. You just want to make sure that you have the proper thing selected. I clicked off of it to deselect it and then clicked back on the dotted line and it selects the dotted line, which is my score line. You can see the selection box around that. And then I'm going to go to this transform panel on the right hand side. And I'm going to go to the move by icon, which is your fourth icon. And I'm going to tell the software that I want to move this to a certain place. So for a normal card base, a card is four. 0.25 inches by 5.5. So I want to move it exactly halfway and I can tell the software to do this for me. So if I tell this, the distance I want it to move is 4.25 inches. And then I click the right arrow, it's going to move. I, it selected my rectangle. Make sure you have the right thing selected. So select the dotted line again, choose the right move right option, and it's going to move that score line exactly in the middle. And if we look at it here, this little box, it shows the center of that. It's exactly in the middle. So I'll do that one more time so we can see how it worked with my dashed line selected. So my selection box is around just the dashed line. I type in 4.25 in the distance box and I clicked on the move right arrow and it moved it to the center of my card base. I left click and drag my mouse holding my left click button down. I drag it across both objects selected and then I'm going to group those together so they all move as one piece now. 
So I have created this card cut file that I am giving away free on my blog. And this is exactly how I created these pieces by using the drawing tools on the left hand side and the line style tools. So I drew a rectangle. I used the draw line tool on the left hand side. For that line, I used the line style panel and I changed the line to a dashed line for my score line. And then I used the transform panel and the move options to move my line into the center. Using the tools in the software, you can create your own designs. If we take a look at this, design the white base on my card, it's a white rectangle with a smaller rectangle inside that I have changed the line style to a dashed line for faux stitching. The same tools I use over and over in the software when I create my designs. Hopefully this has helped and given you a new tool that you can use in your designing in Silhouette Studio. Have a great day. Thank you.